If you've clicked on this video, chances are you're considering a career in cybersecurity. Or maybe you're just unsure about which tech path to pursue. The options can be overwhelming. I get it. Four years ago, I was broke and faced this exact dilemma. And what did I do? I chose cloud computing instead of cybersecurity. Now, here is where things get really interesting. I've uncovered some real data that's going to help you make your big decision. Hi, I'm Soleiman. I'm a cloud engineer and I run my own cloud security firm. I recently discovered the largest survey in the world, polling cybersecurity engineers and hiring managers. Researchers poured a ton of time, money and effort into an 84 page report that reveals exclusive industry insights that you need to know. And just for you, I've gone through the report cover to cover so you don't have to. And today I'm going to reveal the three data-driven reasons why you shouldn't start cybersecurity in 2024 and why cloud computing is the best choice for beginners. As a bonus, I'm also going to give you a clear roadmap to kickstart your cloud career, even without any prior IT experience or fancy degrees. So why shouldn't you choose cybersecurity? Well, firstly, 75% of cybersecurity professionals view the current threat landscape as the most challenging it's been in the last five years. Now imagine you are learning to play chess, but every week they introduce new pieces with different move sets. That is what entering cybersecurity as a beginner can feel like. This means you're always playing catch up, which can be overwhelming and frustrating when you're just starting out. And when 75% said they find the current landscape challenging, you can imagine how difficult it would be for someone just starting their career. Next, the cybersecurity industry faces a huge skills gap with 92% reporting shortages in their teams. While this might seem like an opportunity, it often translates to a reluctance to hire beginners. The field requires a deep understanding of various systems, networks, and potential vulnerabilities before you can effectively apply security principles. And this knowledge base takes time to build, making it difficult for beginners to break into the field. The skills gap isn't just about the numbers, it's about the complexity of the skills required. The truth is companies need cybersecurity professionals who can hit the ground running, which can leave beginners out in the cold. Because the role is so important, how do you expect a beginner to learn quickly how to secure your systems? And here is where things get really tough for beginners. 45% of hiring managers admit that their organizations are reluctant to hire entry-level cybersecurity candidates with little experience. This creates a catch-22 situation. You need experience to get hired, but you can't get experience without being hired. This preference for hands-on experience is also highlighted by 70% of hiring managers saying they value entry-level cybersecurity experience over a bachelor degree in cybersecurity. This puts additional pressure on beginners and graduates to somehow gain practical up-to-date experience before they can even land their first job. Now, given these challenges in cybersecurity, I propose starting your tech career in cloud computing. But what exactly is cloud computing. Well, cloud computing allows you to access and use computing resources such as servers, storage, databases, and more over the internet. Think of it like this. Cloud computing is similar to how we use electricity. We don't generate our own electricity. We plug it into a grid and pay for what we use. Cloud computing works on a similar principle, but with computing power. As a cloud engineer, your role would involve designing, implementing, and maintaining these cloud-based systems. But it's not just about technical skills. You are the person who helps businesses transform their operations and scale their applications. So for those of you that have business acumen, you can really shine here. Whether it's Netflix, the online store where you shop, or the app that you use to order food, cloud computing is powering it behind the scenes. And if you're looking for a place that takes you from someone with no prior experience to job-ready cloud engineer in 12 weeks, then consider joining my Cloud Engineer Academy. And don't take my word for it, check out Jay's story who went from banking to cloud hired in less than six months. Link in the description. Now, why is cloud computing the best choice for beginners? Unlike cybersecurity, cloud computing provides a more structured and accessible learning path for newcomers. There are clear starting points such as foundational certifications and hands-on projects that don't require years of experience. When I made the decision to quit my job and gave myself a free 
three month window to land a cloud role, I focus on building projects on AWS, which was at the time and still is the leading cloud platform. After three months, I successfully secured a position as a cloud engineer. And now I'm not advocating that anyone should quit their job. That was a personal choice that worked for my situation. However, this experience demonstrated to me that the barrier to entry for someone with no cloud experience was surmountable in a short time frame. The cloud computing market is booming, projected to reach $1.6 trillion by 2030, growing at an annual rate of 18%. This growth translates to abundant of job opportunities, especially at the entry level, because many organizations are willing to hire and train cloud enthusiasts who demonstrate a solid understanding of core concepts and the willingness to learn. You see, companies are often willing to take a chance on a beginner in cloud computing because the learning curve isn't as steep as cybersecurity. Again, how would you expect to secure company-wide assets as a beginner with no experience? It's such an important role. So cloud computing exposes you to a wide range of IT concepts, from networking and storage to security and app development. This broad knowledge base makes you versatile and valuable to employers. Think of it like this. If IT were a toolbox, cybersecurity specialists might really be good with one or two tools. Cloud engineers, on the other hand, know how to use the whole toolbox. Let me give you an example from my own experience. I was working with a client not long ago, an e-commerce business. They came to us thinking they needed better security for their online platform. But as we dug into their infrastructure, we realized that their problems went way beyond security. Their cloud setup was a mess. They were burning money on cloud resources. Their deployment process was error prone. And yes, they did have security. Holes. Now, over the course of four months, I completely transformed their operation. And the result, not only did we make their platform more secure, but we also made it faster, more reliable, and significantly cheaper to run. That's the power of what a cloud engineer can do. Could a cybersecurity engineer have done all of that? Probably not. Don't get me wrong, they don't even have to do that either. Their niche is specifically around security. We know that. But for this client, they would have been able to patch up and fix the security holes for sure. But they wouldn't have had the breadth of knowledge to address the real underlying problems. And that's the power of cloud computing. You see, being a mentor to 234 students inside of my Cloud Engineer Academy and running my own cloud security firm, I have a real boots on the ground perspective. By starting in cloud computing, you can then specialize in cloud security later on. Because for the second year in the row, cloud security tops the list of the most desired skills. To compound this, cloud security is the number one area where organizations report skills gap, 35%. Funny that. You've got a speciality that's the most in demand and has the largest skills gap. So what does this mean to you? Well, having a strong foundation in cloud computing makes you a more effective cloud security professional. As I mentioned, because cloud computing gives you a broad skill set and perspective, you can't get this if you start in cybersecurity first. And this is exactly what I've been preaching inside my Cloud Engineer Academy for months. This is the path that I took myself. I originally worked as a cloud engineer, built my fundamental knowledge, and then specialized in cloud security before setting up my cloud security firm. This progression gave me a unique advantage. I understood the cloud architecture deeply, which allowed me to implement more effective and efficient security measures. I can't explain it clearer than this. If that didn't make sense, go back one minute and rewatch it. It's that important. Now, as promised, here is a step-by-step -step roadmap to get you started. First, you wanna learn the basics. A great place to start is by joining my newsletter because for a limited time only, you can grab my beginner's guide to the cloud for free. Next, get certified. Certifications won't be the reason why you land your first cloud job, but they do help on your own journey to solidifying your understanding of the cloud. Start with the AWS Cloud Practitioner. You then need to build projects. This is the most most important step. These projects will form your portfolio. And if you don't know where to start, in my Cloud Engineer Academy, we help you build over 20 portfolio projects that employers are desperate for. And the best part, anyone can do this. You don't require any technical knowledge because I teach you from the ground 
up. Next, to land your first cloud job, look for entry level cloud engineer or cloud support roles, even cloud adjacent roles in IT. Just get your foot in the door. Don't be discouraged if job descriptions ask for experience. Apply anyway and showcase your projects and enthusiasm. Then spend a few years working in the cloud. Learn as much as you can about the different cloud services and best practices. And finally, specialize in cloud security. The point of this final step is to specialize and master your craft in order to become irreplaceable so you can set up your own consultancy. So the choice is yours. Are you going to get started today or click off this video without taking any action? And if you're unsure how you can make the move to the cloud in three months, then you have to see this video where I break down the exact step-by-step -step process on how I did it.